Hey guys, I uh, just wanted to bring you all a quick little video. I'm out here doing a little mushroom hunting and I found this very beautiful plant with these white berries. They have these black spots on the end of them. Whoops, one of them just broke off. That's all right. Here we go. We can see at the end we've got these little white berries with these uh, black spots at the end of them. Um, the common name of this plant is doll's eyes because these look like, well, the eyeballs that you would find in a doll, like a childhood doll. Set that berry there because it's got seeds in it. We'll bury that dude up. But anyways, another name for this plant is Baneberry. Now, if you guys might remember on my uh, mock strawberry video, I also call mock strawberry Baneberry. So that is not to be confused with this plant. Obviously, you can tell by looking at it, it looks nothing like a strawberry. But we can see these berries coming out of this here, and this is very common on this plant this time of year, uh, right around the beginning of fall and the end of the summer, you're going to see these white berries coming on, this very beautiful pink stem. We notice these berries are arranged in sort of like an alternating opposite sort of situation that they've got going on here. Really, really pretty, really pretty. All right, now right here we can see the leaves of the doll's eye plant. Now these are compound leaves as we can see here they are kind of dying and tinging off because of the uh, colors good thing about this plant is that it while it is poisonous it's not going to hurt you just by simply touching it like this however do not consume these berries especially but do not consume any part of this plant if we look at these leaves we're going to notice that there are three leaflets up at the top and then we're going to notice two leaflets at the back and they're going to be divided with different lobes and if we also look very close we can see that the margins are actually double toothed margins so this is a really easy way to identify this plant this time of year is those berries but we can also see the leaves are going to be a little bit variable if we look at these back leaflets on this side and we look at uh, this one right here we can see it doesn't have any divisions like this one does so if we compare that to these leaves over here, you can see how they're divided a lot differently than uh, the other ones. So keep that in mind whenever you're looking at the leaves on this plant, that they do have some variation. Right over here, we can see some more of these leaves here. So this is a good idea of something to look out for. If you're uh, wanting to find this plant or you see it and you're curious about it, just keep in mind that it is highly poisonous and do not consume this plant, especially the berries or the root. They are the uh, most poisonous parts of the plant to my knowledge. So I just wanted to share that with you guys real quick while I'm out here doing a little mushroom hunting.